Okay, so 15 shillings to 20 shillings per square per foot. Square foot. Hey guys, I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome back to a new vlog. This is actually the first vlog of 2022 um, because the video you'll have watched on Wednesday, it's more of like a, you know, a well-organized video. This is just like random things. So this is a vlog. Um, what One thing I decided is to actually be having I try my best to be having two videos um, every week and that is on Wednesdays I can have like a nice you know thought out video and then on Sunday I can have like a vlog like a weekly vlog um, so that's what I'm working on and I wanted to get started with it I just came from the gym your girl is being consistent on uh, that part of my life I want to work out uh, like four days in a week i want to make it five but at the moment my body is not there yet so for this is okay that is monday tuesday break on wednesday then do thursday and friday so yeah now i want to create a reel i just got home like i said at breakfast and i got this um, tripod because i needed one uh from which shop we start again i got my camera cameras africa i'm a camera Kenya. so maybe we can unbox this as i set up for the reel that i want to shoot um for the living room and yeah i hope you enjoyed the book so and uh, let's let me move it here so that i'm able to set up i want to set up right here so what i'm doing is i want to create a nice reel for this living room space let me first unbox this tripod i'm so happy because what happened to the other one um it broke so i needed a new one let me see what i can set you guys is the quality on this thing like look at that and it's super super heavy ah this is such a good good investment and i think i got it for 5k and there's another one i have that i got for 3500 but that thing broke let me show you give me a minute so this is the first tripod i bought just when i started creating content but there's a difference it actually broke like this thing is supposed to be here I think here and it also broke this part here see it's supposed to be like that so this thing it's also broken um, so let me show you guys the difference look at this and just look at this just compare the two see ah oh, I'm so 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 happy this is such a good good investment i'm so so happy with these patches i got it from cameras kenya like i said ah and i like this two legs down here so let me just set up i'm so happy now this one i don't know i'll take it because uh, it doesn't get the job done to be honest it's just stressful using this one Also made sure to get um, a new mem card this is 64 GB so I'm good this also is from um, cameras Kenya now I need to grab my camera so that I can set it up and then do the shoot or the reel so I don't know if I should walk with my phone or just talk to you guys after this I think I talk to you guys after this so I'm all dressed up and this means one thing I'm about to leave the house 
um, which wasn't part of uh, today's plans, but um, my client just called and uh, there's a consultation I was to do tomorrow morning, but she'll not be, something came up and she'll not be available for tomorrow's consultation. So we have to do it today because I can't push her uh, to next week because I have other consultations. So yeah, we just have to do it today. I just finished doing my reel. Uh, I haven't edited it yet, so I don't know if I'm going to do that now. I'm a, I don't know what to do. Um, and then I thought I could also like tidy up this house because it's not looking so good. The couch is because I was doing the reel, but I kind of need to sort out this house. So maybe we can do that too. Okay, I was about to say tomorrow, but I have an installation for tomorrow, which starts at around 12, 11, 12. <laughs> maybe we can do this on Sunday. And you know what? We can actually turn that into a whole video. What do you think? Like an organize and decorate with me video which you can watch next week on Wednesday. So I think you'll have watched that video before watching this. So I think we'll do that. For now, let me just leave. Um, and then I remembered there's uh, the video I took when uh, I was doing my, when Blissful Cleaning was uh, doing the deep cleaning for my carpet and the couch and also steaming my curtains. I don't think I've included, included that in this vlog. So what I'll do, as I go do my thing, I'll let you guys watch that and then tomorrow we can continue this vlog as we go do the installation. So enjoy that. So the Blissful team is here. Um, I'm having my carpet cleaned and the couch. And for the first time ever, I'm having the curtains steamed. Is it steaming? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I think I'll take you through the process that you're able to see what they're doing. Uh, my carpet is not the cleanest. If you can see, it has a few stains down there. Um, and the couch as well, there's some dust. So I'm happy to have this sorted out. But the fact that they can also steam my curtains in the process of all this is quite interesting. So yeah, I'll take you through the process. As usual, I'm going to link them in the description box below. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you Why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to Never wanted to end it like we did I guess shit happens for a reason But it's like something So I'm also getting the bedroom curtains steamed um, and maybe can you maybe explain to us how this is done like how you guys steam I can see like a big machine over here yeah. but I don't know how it this is the first time I'm steaming my curtains oh, okay. so uh -huh. for this this we call it a steam cleaner mm -hmm. um, basically what it does mm -hmm. it uses steam Mm -hmm. that's, why, that's why it got its name. Mm -hmm. We use, as you can see, the bucket mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. the solution of our detergents. Okay, your own detergents. Yes, our okay. Own detergents. okay. So we put, it has a, a pipe that's able to suck the water mm -hmm. into the machine, mm -hmm. and within the machine, it mm -hmm. somehow converts it into steam. So mm -hmm. as it comes out from this nozzle, mm -hmm. it either comes out as dry steam or okay. wet steam. And the process you're doing with mine is dry? Yes, the process I'm using with yours is uh -huh. dry steam. We dry also, steam, okay. Yeah, we also look at the fabric uh -huh. and how dirty the cut is. Cutting is, is okay. Mine are not that dirty. Since yours are not so dirty, yeah. you don't need to use the wet steam because so you use just the dry it dripping wet. Okay. You just use the dry steam. Mm -hmm. It's more efficient in removing dust. Mm -hmm. that may have accumulated over time yeah. and it leaves the carpet, the curtain uh -huh. somehow dry. Yeah. dry. With free air circulation, uh -huh. it remains dry. Okay, For the wet steam, perfect. when okay. there are stains, uh -huh. that's when we use the wet steam. Or if you have stains on your curtains, yeah. then you have to use the wet, wet steam, steam okay. in combination with the spot cleaning. Okay. Spot cleaning in the, in the sense that mm -hmm. we use our we scrub 
somehow lightly mm -hmm. so that to get the to loosen the steam okay the steam the stain molecules so okay. that when the steam passes through the stain okay it's able to okay to break it down okay and then take it down so oh, for perfect. now we use the dry steam uh -huh. and then we'll just do it mm -hmm. we do it systematically mm -hmm. systematically as you can see So that's dry. Doesn't have any. Even if you touch, it's not as wet as. Oh, okay. Because if it's yeah, if you it's use wet dry, yeah. oh, not wet dry. Sorry, if you use wet steam, it yes. means there's going to be a lot of water. A lot of water. If, okay. I, if I was to use wet steam, after I've just done, this, mm -hmm. here down you will see the water dripping. Okay, okay. But now I'm using dry steam. There's no water. There's no ah, water. Ah, okay, water. perfect. Yes. Which means your curtains can be. Yeah, you just this, that's why there will be no need of an installing them. Ah, you just yeah. Them there. So you clean them, the yeah. pure apple, and I don't need to take them outside. You don't need to take them outside. You okay. don't need to the hassle and bustle long. And that solution mm -hmm. smells nice. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> So yes. what if people asked how much this was? Because I think oh, it's nice to have your okay. curtains like so steamed because ideally, they hold a lot of dust. So yeah. I think people would also be interested in like price and all yeah. that. Okay. Um, yeah. Ideally, mm. when we step in the first process is when you call us to clean your curtains, mm -hmm. we come, mm -hmm. with, the team comes, mm -hmm. they wait, there's a person who takes the measurement. How do mm -hmm. we take the measurement? Mm -hmm. We take the measurements, we measure the length, from up there okay. to down here. Okay. That's the length okay. in feet. Okay. And then we measure the, the width. width okay. in feet. Okay. And then we calculate the area. That okay. gives us the square root, mm -hmm. the square foot area. Okay. And then that's now for depending on the size of your cutting mm -hmm. is what we will charge. The office will know it How will much? be able to charge okay. between fifteen and twenty shillings. So the so range will between 15 and 20 shillings. Okay, so 15 shillings to 20 shillings per square per foot. Per square foot. Okay, per now foot. it fully depends with the size of your curtains. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, there's some perfect. people who have very tall curtains. Yeah. As tall as 12 feet. Yeah. And 9 feet. Yeah. So that we just do the area mm -hmm. and we do the math. And okay. then we call the client. Okay. If it fits well within their budget, okay. they give us the go ahead. Okay. We do the cleaning. Ah, oh, perfect. Yeah. Okay. So okay. now you go on with your work. I just wanted to get that so info sad. for the guys. Okay. And of course, I'm going to link your contacts. So All right. See the progress on this other side. I think the couch is done, and now it's time to clean the carpet. Yep, okay. You guys, my carpet is super super thin. See, I just have things on this carpet, and I want to have it cleaned. Oh. This is so exciting. The curtains in the living room, they are actually done. I'm just waiting for them to... Oh, wow, it's like it's dry actually. Um, yeah, so I let them air dry for a few minutes.
Hey guys, it's actually the next day. Today is Saturday. So I'm on my way to the site. I want to go do some setup at uh, my client's house. Yesterday I finished doing the reel. Uh, my whole body is actually in pain. I think it's because of the gym. But I did a cute, um, a nice reel. If you're following me on Instagram, then you'll have watched it. It was um, like in partnership with Blissful Cleaning for like um the things you need to clean for like um maybe after three or four months so yeah we have that now i want to okay so i I got some furniture let me turn this so i got uh these pieces delivered yesterday from dubai and my plug as usual is sami the personal shopper i'm going to link his details in the description box below if you need anything from amazon or whatever shop in dubai he can um get that for you so i got a few pieces shipped in yesterday these are not mine they belong to my clients and we are taking this piece with us uh today it's like a cute um coffee table i think i'll show you like a um uh, maybe like the beard the scenes of like the setup not a lot just a bit so as we do the as we build this i'll share that and also as we sell the space i'll share that this belongs to another client and that belongs to another client those are the shelves that i also have in my um office like the ones i got before if you've been here for a while you know what i'm talking about but yeah this is what we are carrying with us today and how cute is this living room like so cute i got this scarf it's actually a scarf it's not like a throw blanket it's a scarf i think it also has like the tag um yeah it has the tag i got this from platform um they always have like zara pieces i got it for 1500 it's so cute when i bought it i just placed it here in this when i was doing the reel it just looked cute so i didn't <laughs> remove it so yeah now let me leave oh, gosh i love a clean and beautiful space oh, this is just giving me all the vibes I also have a lot of deco in the office that I need to carry with me. What happens is when I'm shopping for my clients, I actually like buy deco in bulk so that I can do like two trips to the house. Uh, I do the first setup and then if I need more pieces, I can go and get more pieces. So that's the case. This is like the first now setup. Um, so let me show you. Let me show you. So I always end up putting uh, all the decor in the office because I don't want to have a lot um, in the living room. So I think I have a lot of pieces here from Mr. Price Home. Uh, these are also from Mr. Price Home. I have some pieces from Homebox. So yeah, now I also wanted to show you guys um, the shelves that I was talking about from Ikea. So I brought them here. I don't think I've ever showed you guys this space and I'll do like a, a cute... Um, why do I keep saying the word cute? <laughs> I uh, will do like a detailed video on um, all this, but yeah, that's the look for now. This is my office area. <laughs> yeah, so let me carry this. Okay, forgive me because this is the feature Yvonne interrupting you guys, but it's because I feel like for this villa setup to make sense, we need to start from the beginning because I don't think I've been able to share that on this channel. If I have, I can't remember so we need to start from the beginning so this entire thing can make sense so let's skip to that or let's go back to that actually let's go back to that so yeah so this is our new project it's more of a villa it's a very big one and a very tall one so I have a few ideas for this space and starting off it's by creating a fireplace structure over here I feel like that would be and the first thing is putting up a fireplace structure over here. I feel like that is going to look so good in this space because it's so big, it's so, it's so tall. So a fireplace will be perfect. And also my client actually wanted to get like the electrical fireplace. So we need to have like a structure for it. So we're going to do something from here, a gypsum unit all the way from the floor, going all the way up. Um, Junara interiors will help with that and then I'm also going to cover those small windows so that it's like an entire wall because I want to do like a cabinet on the side I might do on both sides or just on one side and do something else on the other side but that's that's the first idea that I have for this room um, and then of course get curtains and then on this other side, which happens to be the dining area, because the kitchen is right there. So this is our dining area. So we have a door over here, which I don't 
I don't think it's going to work here because I feel like it's taking away from the space and it's something that also my clients kind of agree with. So what you're going to do is shift, move this door from here to here. So it's going to move from here to this wall over here. So that's the plan. Um, I believe these light fixtures belong to another house. They don't belong here because I didn't buy them. But they look pretty good. I feel like they're more glam style, which I'm not going with in this house. I'll be getting a few pieces from Clo Lighting, which I'll share with you um, when they're ready. Maybe not in this video, but in another one. So yeah, that's the plan for this villa. Move the door from here to here. Cover the small windows. Put up a fireplace structure and then get an electrical fireplace. Boom. Now that you guys have seen that before, I feel like we've covered a lot ever since I filmed that video. So at the moment we're still working on the fireplace structure and I think, yeah, let me just shift the camera so that you can see what we've done so far. So we are seeing the process of putting up uh, the structure while it's done. Uh, we're just waiting for the paint to dry um, and then I'm thinking of doing a wallpaper to just give a good contrast in here. So we'll do a bold wallpaper, maybe more of a stone brick in gray. Uh, we'll see what we can find in the market. Um, and then, like I said, we moved the door from there to that place and I actually like it because now we have more room to work with um, in the dining area. So that's, that's pretty good. So on the sides, I'm thinking of doing like a cabinet on that side. I'm still thinking through it and maybe another on that side or maybe do something else on that side. Uh, but to just move closer to the structure, down here we are going to be putting the electrical fireplace. I'll just show you the piece we got. There's more room for like a uh, sound bars and you know, the other things that come with the TV. And then up there, that's where we're supposed to mount the TV. So I know it looks small, but it's not supposed to be like a unit for the TV to like sit in it. It's more of like room to be able to mount the TV because the TV is going to like slash with the gypsum unit. So we have that and I think it's such a transformation. I know in here it looks a bit crazy, but um, we are still in the process of doing it. It's looking so nice and we actually covered the small window so that now I'm able to put up the cabinets and I thought, I felt like it was a bit too much like having the structure over there and then having windows that I would have to put curtains so it didn't look as nice. Then maybe I can show you the, the electrical fireplace. So this is the unit we got. I know it's not on at the moment. Maybe I can try and do it. Let's see if I can do this. Yeah, right there. Look at that. So that's the piece and you can always like control down here. So there's high, there's, I know you guys can't see, but there's high, there's low and this, what's that? Oh, I think this is for dimming. So let's see what it does. Uh, my. Oh, okay, so you can dim it so that it's not too bright. Yeah. Yeah. So we have that, and then, like I said, you can have it um, on the highest level, or you can go a bit blue. So that's the piece. Oh. And then, unplug it. So I think... Those are how the updates I have for you as of now and I think we can do more of this next week maybe. Okay, so now that this feature one is making a lot of appearance in this video, I decided to just like uh, explain a few things before you watch the reveal. I feel like I just need to now explain things. <sighs> anyway, so before you watch the reveal, let me say you're not going to watch the video in 
uh, landscape because we were not able to capture the images in landscape because it's such a huge 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 villa and it's so big so high so capturing everything in like um landscape was not easy so what i decided to do is to capture instagram content um and again this project reveals i want to be doing them on the yk homes page not on this page i want to keep this more personal i feel like this is my channel to do uh, more of my home stuff and all that so when it comes to projects i want to have like a page dedicated to that which is yk homes so you can go and watch um the reveal there but for now i'm just going to attach the few clips that will also go on instagram here so yeah hey guys so we are here at the site uh we already set up the coffee table and now there's a lot of work to be done there so we're trying to set up this shelf to just decorate this shelf there's a lot of books we'll be using a few books they're just everywhere but uh, yeah this is the start So I hope that was fun for you guys. It was so much fun for me styling up that space. It, I think it's one of the biggest projects I have done so far. And I remember walking into this project so scared, so nervous, but I just, I gave myself that um, courage and I was like, you know what? Fear will just be the death of you. You can do this. And I got it done. So I'm so happy. It's not done yet. Like you can see, it's not fully done because there's one side of the fireplace that we haven't decided what to do with it we are trying to just like um go through a few ideas and see what works best for my client 
if it's like design wise and just like the aesthetics and all that then it would be more of like building another cabinet on the other side of the fireplace that would make a lot of sense like design wise and just like visually you're able to see like symmetry you know it would look so good but also i want to consider my clients and like how they want the space to be for them how they want the space to function for them um since we have like the balcony door right there we can also like create like a nice reading nook for them and also like a big portrait for like a family photo and like a nice chair something like that above us too so whatever works for their space i'm um, for them not for the space if we are talking about the space it's the cabinet but for them um it might be something else so we are trying to just like uh take baby baby steps with that and decide what uh, to put on that side, but I'm so happy because so far the project has turned out amazing. It looks so beautiful. They're happy. They moved in and the house is just super super beautiful and they're happy with it also the dining area it's not done yet we're trying to see what table to go with we're thinking of a round table and uh we kind of need to just like think through and see how that will sit um with that space i'm in that space so yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this video it was so much fun um i started this project last year and we just closed it this year <coughs> sorry and i feel like it has just you know it has just given me some motivation to just like um do more this 2022 so yeah that was a fun project i'm so happy and i just can't wait to see how it will turn out after we are done with everything um if we end up doing like the reading nook with the family portrait i don't think i'll be able to show the entire thing because again it's a family portrait i don't want to have like their faces on youtube and on the internet but the dining area i'm going to share that when it's done so um, stay tuned for that but so far i am so happy because it's such a beautiful house um, every piece that we picked for that house is just beautiful like from furniture from to the carpet to the coffee table like did you guys see the coffee table how beautiful is that? did you see the couch anyway thank you so much guys oh and the curtains anyway thank you so much guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and i'm gonna see you guys in my next video that's all love